Hey everybody, welcome to our weekend check-in video for Psych 45 Research Methods for Saturday, August 19th. Just going to go over a few items and reminders like I always do, so uh, let's get started. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our weekend check-in video for Psych 45 Research Methods for Saturday, August 19th. Just going to go over a few reminders and clarifications, anything I think you need to know to help you stay on top of things on the course easily. So let's get started and keep it short and sweet as always. Uh, first up here is that your uh, Chapter 1 quiz and discussion, the deadline for those ended yesterday there. The quiz was due at 11.59 p.m. Friday, and the discussion was due there at 9 p.m. a bit earlier there on Friday. And the comments that I post there on your uh, discussion board remarks there, those are private only to you, so for your eyes only, so to speak. So I don't post those in the public forum there, only private to you. So do take a look at that feedback. I try to give you uh, something meaningful about uh, what you posted there. Uh, next up here is that our Chapter 3 quiz and discussion. That's going to be due next Friday on the 25th. And again, don't forget that time differential. The discussion is due a bit earlier at 9 p.m. again. And the uh, quiz is due a bit later there at 11.59 p.m. And like before, you won't need to have read your book to do the discussion. So just give yourself enough time to get it in before the deadline if you are going to wait to the quote-unquote last minute there. But you can just basically, uh, again, count on that for the most part. You don't need to read your book to do those discussions. And in case you're wondering, there is no Chapter 2 quiz and uh, discussion, so keep that in mind. Uh, regarding MindTap here, our next item on the list here I want to go over is that uh, the trial for that, as I posted earlier in an announcement, that ends on Monday. So as of Monday, you won't be able to have access anymore if you haven't already made your purchase and gotten access code. So uh, please make sure you uh, take care of that by that time. And don't forget, when you register for MindTap, please only use the link found in the MindTap module in our Canvas course page. Do not go to the publisher's website. Do not go to some MindTap place directly there. Make sure you only use that link because that way it ties everything about you and your assignments and your scores and your points uh, to the Canvas gradebook and I need to have you do it that way so please be careful to avoid that there. Uh, remember you only get one chance quote unquote to uh, get the questions right so when you're ready to submit uh, make sure that you have kind of checked your answers and make sure those are the ones you want because you don't get a second chance you don't get any do-overs there so please make sure that you are answering your questions carefully there uh, and uh, those uh, mind tap assignments for chapters one, three, and four, and there is a very short quiz from chapter two there. Um, as I noted in your homework assignment there for the uh, on you know the regular chapter one quiz there on our Canvas course page, uh, there is an item there in mind tap for chapter two. It's only two questions there. You do need to do that one when you go into mind tap and just click open chapter two. You will see there's just a very short. Uh, chapter uh, 2 quiz there, so make sure that you do that one. It's just two points, but hey, everything helps, so uh, definitely do that, and I don't think you'll find it uh, too challenging there. Uh, the mind tap assignments there for chapters 1, 3, and 4, including that little short one from chapter 2, that's going to be due at 11.59 p.m. Uh, the day before, I should say the evening before, that the Unit 1 exam opens up there on Monday, uh, uh, February, uh, pardon me, whoop before on Monday. Let me pause for a second here, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I have notes that I read from here and I, I realize I have my dates kind of mixed up there. Uh, so again, for clarity, uh, the MindTap assignments are going to be due the Sunday evening before at 11.59 p.m. before the Unit 1 exam opens. So that's going to make that Sunday, uh, September 3rd by 11.59 p.m. and your Unit 1 exam is open for a three-day window. That's 72 hours. Monday through Wednesday starting on uh, September 4th through Wednesday, September 6th. So just kind of keep that in mind. And definitely uh, always keep in mind once a unit has opened up, you are free to work ahead. You can do your discussions, your quizzes, your mind test. You can knock all that stuff out. There. The only thing you can't get to ahead of time is the uh, unit exam. That's always going to have a dedicated three-day window. And outside of that three-day window, you can't have access to that exam. So please keep that in mind there. And again, I just mentioned the exam. It's going to open up on Monday through Wednesday, September 4th through September 6th. You will get a reminder announcement about that about a week before, just reminding you to do some other things too, like your mind tap, etc. There, 
use the study guide, etc. There, there's a couple of essay questions on the exam. Otherwise, it's a mostly multiple choice and some true false. And on the essay questions, as you'll ha see me say in, this, in the uh, announcement there, uh, make sure you don't just copy and paste information from your textbook or from some online website or use some AI generator to answer your questions because I know I'm going to know if you do that. That gets you into a lot of trouble. So make sure you only answer using your own words and you won't have any problem. I'm not looking for volumes of you know, text or when you answer those questions, when you answer the essay questions, when you've answered it, you're done. There's nothing else that you need to do there. Otherwise, that's everything I wanted to say for this time. We do have our live Zoom session scheduled for this coming Tuesday at 11 a.m. Uh, as I've been saying, this is just open office hours, so uh, I will have some prepared remarks that I will record and post there from the Zoom session, which are pretty much just like these, uh, in case anybody wants to see that there. But uh, otherwise, it's just open office hours, so if you want a live version of me and you want to ask me anything, I'll be there hanging out just doing some work, and I'll, anybody drops in, I'll be glad to answer your questions or concerns. So uh, please keep that in mind. Otherwise, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, looks like it's cooling off, which is nice if you live in the area here. And uh, um, I'll see you in those lecture videos. And I'll see you here uh, next Saturday. So uh, take care until then. Bye-bye.